Yeah, I think we're good. That's Oso. I'm Walter. Welcome to the Hotline of Diecast. So let's get right to it. Uh, the Matchbox giveaway. There we go. Try to get it in a light circle. Oh, my arm's tired. John K. Congratulations. John K. We got to do this over. It's like Wild Kingdom in here now. Uh, and what I, what I meant by we have to redo this is I filmed this yesterday and thank heaven the drawing went swell because I started with the drawing. So congratulations to you, John K. And at some point my microphone wire must have been touching one of these uh, power wires. I've got a number of assortment of power wires and wires and period behind here. And it just made this, this interference noise that I just couldn't deal with. So here I am, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna refilm this episode. And there's some ups and there's some downs. The downside is I got a really cool, really cool R-A-O-K -okay from, uh, from a friend Cho, uh, someone I met on Instagram, admired stuff he did collection wise. And uh, his, it's otaku underscore four underscore diecast. Now I'll, I'm gonna put that in the description. Um, and I guess you just don't get to see my initial reaction because I wasn't expecting it in the caliber of stuff he sent. This is next level. So there's that. But the upside is I got to do some hunting in between. And one place I went, I had to go, I had to go to work. I went and saw one of my accounts and this account, uh, besides working in my industry, uh, they also sell gifts, a gift shop. This is one of the gifts they had in there. Marlboro 1992 racing team. You know who raced for Marlboro 1992? First one to let me know in the comments, I'll send you something. Um, so I got to do that and, and I was I, I visited an account, found that hat, and it's really one of my most prized possessions. And and once you figure out who it is, you'll probably understand. Let me turn this down. Sorry. I also want to make sure that microphone and my wire is not touching anything doesn't appear to be so good uh and, and like i say the upside is i got to do some hunting in between then and now and one of the things i found was uh when i went to walgreens and in fact actually you can just watch the hunt Those Hot Wheels versions of that. I pack an old Nissan. Oh, one day I'll find a super at the store. It's not today, but today. <laughs> I had like moment there was a moment where I was like yo oh, sorry soldier jeez they're just so overloaded try to take them off and uh, that's the treasure hunt right yeah there's the logo Oh, 
not a super, but still a treasure hunt. Some more up front. Oh, oh wait. Six minutes. Oh, a new Batman five pack. What's this one? I've seen that one. They're all unlicensed weird cars, though. That was cool. Cool little hunt. Um, the Batman five pack was just whack sauce. It was like a McDonald's toy. Was the first one. The it just was cheap. And Hot Wheels is looking to make margin, and we're going to talk about that a little later. But I did find the 2020 Ram 1500 Rebel, which happens to be the treasure hunt. You can see the logo. And, and I, I, I buy treasure hunts when I see them, especially ones that are licensed vehicles that are this cool. And I, I thought I didn't have the U.S. one, but I did. So we're going to make good use of that one. And, and what's cool is uh, it helped me. Well, actually, another car I found uh, helped me round out the end of the treasure hunts for 2023. And that was that's one of the last three in 2023. So that was a good find. I'm stoked and, and, and keep it going. I went to Walmart. Restack. I wonder how many of these were just put in there. No. Not old stock. Or not old stock, but I think I'm familiar with it. that thing big ass build out then there's all this there's so many main lines ridiculous amount of me oh there's the new Disney set Disney 100 Austin minivan there's stock car there's the Morris mini The bully goat. And lastly, the super nap. Kind of cool. How can you not love Disney? Well, I guess you don't have to love Disney. That's a new five pack. Or I haven't seen it. Every time I see this, I think it's a chase. Some of the older moving parts stuff. Recently, we have more of the Disney 100 They're pushing that pretty heavily. Too, I guess. Mustangs pretty sick. I do love Mustangs. I like them. That fake artwork. And it's on a Merc. Ah, watch 
just don't know if I love them too. I love their chases. That's not like you're lucky enough to find one. Look at that with the cherry red. That's pretty legit. Super B. Really cool. Hmm. A weird reflection on it. Same haulers that were here. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice too. What was that team C? Train cams. Another one of those GMCs. Kind of love it because it got the fire chicken on the hood. Let me think about that one. Some just trucks. Hmm. Guess that's it. Now, this particular Walmart, I didn't really find much. Um, I did get to open some boxes, and I'm explaining that. And what I found in the box was the Baja Bug. And actually, I didn't find that particular one. I found uh, the other one I have. The U.S. one. And that's what, that is the difference there. I'll highlight real quick before I get into my story. So the U.S. has the guaranteed for life that you can see at the top of the hook versus the international cards don't. Also, the U.S. card focuses on English versus the international card has a plethora of languages. And lastly, the easy one is if you know where the Treasure Hunt logo is under on the card, under the card, you see the silver logo. You also see some script there, some wording. And it's in English, and it says, congratulations, you found a treasure hunt, because we need our hands held here in this country sometimes. And versus on the international, it's just the logo. No, it's just because we speak English. And, um, like I said, they are U.S. market-driven ones. So I wonder with that, which is more rare? Which is in lower production, the U.S. card or the international cards? And the international cards also include short cards. So I wonder. I do wonder. But that was cool because that also rounds out the uh, the treasure hunt for the calendar. I think the last one on the calendar would be the Gulf the MK1. So not the last one, but the last one for me. So what I'm getting at is this Walmart was different. We all we all know how tough this hobby is. I wonder where people have gone, you know. Uh, in particular, Carrie Christina, and I say that because uh, Kit Wilson, the kitten, is laying on a t-shirt I got from Carrie and Christina. They sent me RAOK -okay a long time ago. In fact, they sent me the uh, the sign up there, the light sign, which isn't on. That's why I'm not feeling the vibe. Now it's on. 
So they sent me that, but I haven't heard from them in a while. I wonder if they're still in the hobby. Um, Don Ireland, OG, OG. Haven't heard from him. And I, and I wonder if people are, are getting out of the hobby. Hopefully everyone's healthy, of course. Um, or what? Because it's it's harsh. And, and what I mean by that, I'm at this Walmart. It's not my typical Walmart, but this... This guy in the toy aisle kind of knows me. I stand out, you know, black dude in Montana. But um, he saw me and I was digging it. I had a ton of Hot Wheels, ton of main lines. And I was just like, wow. I was like, you just put these out, you know? And he's like, no, nah, they've been out for a while. And he was like, I just don't get it. And he was like, I was going to put some new ones out. So I went outside, he said, you know, to the containers. And he's like, we have like 50 of these boxes. So I opened a couple and they all look like the same cards that were out here, you know? And I, I collect Batmobiles. I was like, oh, cool. And he was like, so what? He started to kind of 20 question me to kind of ask me what everybody's into, what basically what he should be looking for. And I, I couldn't, some, I couldn't relinquish that information. I just said, everyone's kind of into, you know, here in Montana, we're in a big muscle cars and, and stuff. And I, and not to say I fed him any BS, but I just didn't give him the answers that he wanted exactly. But basically what I got was confirmation, that at least at that store, there's people in the back who, collect albeit they're not collecting treasure hunt super treasure hunts but they are opening these boxes and back and i didn't rat on him i'm not i didn't i didn't shame him or anything because he brought out those three boxes to me and where i found that that uh baja bug so um you know and i'm just not a rat anyways but it is really disheartening and it's gonna make for a tougher hobby for a long time here where I live, that wasn't an issue. Now it is an issue and it's only going to just metastasize and spread. So, um, you know, I'm sure Mattel is plotting some way to overcome all this and try to retain the faith. Cause I know that they're losing collectors. I mean, I, I, they're in my comments, you know, um, but there's some ways out of it. And, and, and I couldn't fault homie because if I, I worked in the snowboard industry after I was an athlete because I didn't want to pay full price for stuff that I love doing. So that's that's all that's incentive to work in those places. I I don't know if he get, went to Walmart because he loves Batmobiles, but but that's his perk. So that's it, you know. Um, yeah, that's that. But but it is it's disheartening, and then along with all the resellers and and just the knowledgeable people. I mean, like. Like I've always said, every collector is your worst enemy, you know, and I'd love to have a circle of collectors that vision like a convention, you know, I don't see myself at a convention, but it'd be cool to have a circle of collectors, but, you know, you're really just there kind of flexing and at the same time, you're wishing that you had what they had and vice versa, and that's what makes it an interactive community, but do you want all the best die casts? It, it, you, you, you. You can't escape that. So with that in mind, you know, remember there's a lot more die cast than just super treasure hunts and treasure hunts. And you don't have to find a super treasure hunt to be a superstar. You really don't. And I'm, I know this is a different segment in, in my videos, but I really wanted to get this all out and just, you know, if you're, if you're in this hobby, you're already pretty resilient. If you maintained in these last couple of years and, it's going to get tougher, but stick through it. Remember why you got in this hobby. Because you love cars, I think. Or you love toy cars. Or you love toys. Whatever it is. But that's why you got in it. Not not for the chases, you know. Those are nice bonuses and they're cool. But if, if, if you keep going out with the mind frame of finding those and that being a measure of your day, I think you're not going to last very long. I want all you guys to stick around. I'm, I'm going to stick around. I'm, I'm in it, you know, I'm learning to broaden my die cast a little bit, but we'll, we'll talk about that a little later. So sorry about that long jump, but that was some real stuff. And so at that Walmart, I didn't find much. So I moved on. I went to Target. I found this. Really, really nice really nice example of a 96 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 4 I believe look at that look at the headlights how well they did that in the fog lights and the rally the uh, protector grills 
Huge wing on the back. Do love me some Matchbox. And I also found that new, new 2024 badge. And it's that 911 Carrera Gabriele. And it was falling out of the package, so I opened it. You guys should probably see the car. That's what else you can do. You can you can crack them jaunts open and you can get yourself some track and you can play. It will bring so much more pleasure to your hobby. It's it, it, it's unexplainable. I don't care how old you are. Get yourself some track. So that was Target. It was good. Um, I went to another Walmart and uh, nobody picking in the back there. And they had some leftovers, so I stumbled across another Zamac, the Automobili Pina Farina Batista. Really, really stunning supercar. Um, super electric vehicle car but again I believe not all of the people who purchase Hot Wheels are into cars so sometimes these are overlooking that's fine because I, I get to come up on them um, which is rad and, and then then well and this was something and I was really really surprised to see this in my area already but I'll take it and what it is is the hundredth anniversary holiday Disney and Hot Wheels set. And the first one is Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse and the Super Nat. And I'm pretty sure this is just some sort of hatchback, some futuristic kind of hatchback rally vehicle. Um, but it's an unlicensed vehicle, so it makes a lot of sense because it doesn't cost a lot of sense to produce for Hot Wheels. Behind that, uh, oh, here we go. The Stalker. Not the stock car, it's the stock car. Pretty cool, just obviously an unlicensed vehicle mimicked after, you know, a stock race car. Got the frozen stuff on there, so peep her into it. And then, where, why am I missing them? Why is everything all spread out? I'm missing one. Oh, no, I'm not. There it is. And then, boom, the Bully Goat. This is a cool casting. Also another unlicensed casting. And that front end, if, if you know cards, you, that front end will clue you in on what it is. Or maybe the name will. Bully Goat. Goat. GTO. Pontiac GTO. So this was crafted after Pontiac GTO. Now if you look at that front end, it might make more sense. I'm a Pontiac Firebird guy, so I'm a goat guy too, and I'm a bully goat guy. So this is kind of a fantasy casting I've I've always kind of been after. And and these holiday releases, and this is a Walmart exclusive as well, but these are these are what you call margin builders. You know, they're built as inexpensively as possible so that Mattel and the retailer can make as large of a margin as possible um, and especially in like seasons like now in the holiday season where you're looking back and those numbers need to make all the sense now one way mattel loses money is by using licensed vehicles but they were able to use this the 67 austin minivan which is rad and they were also able to use this the morris the morris mini now these are licensed vehicles. Um, and you know them, you see them on the road and everything. And it's cool and it's applaudable because Hot Wheels or Mattel was smart. They managed to have to only apply for one license. A lot of guys don't know that Austin Mini and Morris Mini and Mini Cooper, they're all the same brand. Cooper is like a skunk works. Like a, like a, like a, uh, 
not STI. Like an AMG. Like AMG is the Benz. They just make their stuff like super fast and, and cool. That's what Cooper is. And Austin is actually a I think a, a make too. Or a model, excuse me. So but they're all minis. So anyway, what I'm saying is Hot Wheels was able to put two licensed vehicles in for one license and we get to reap the benefits. So that's it. That's the holiday stuff. Really cool. Cool set. Costs a couple bucks, but I'm into Disney. I, I, man, I, I know a lot of people that are into Disney. I remember like Ultra Thugs that would be like Ultra Thugging and but they'd have like a Mickey Mouse shirt on, you know? Mickey Mouse had like a 45, but it was just like just hood stuff back then. Where else did I go? Oh man, I went to AutoZone. And I don't go to AutoZone that often, but it was a cool stop. Looks like we got some stuff here at AutoZone. I keep not buying this car, and I don't know why. I haven't bought it yet. Oh, wait, that's kind of cool. What does this thing look like? A little. I don't even know. Why am I getting to, to Walter? Put it back. Jeez. I did buy this. Oh, there's another group. Alright, I don't know where to get that. Just in case you needed a fat ride. I haven't seen new versions of this so that Hot Wheels decide to cancel this program. Godzilla. Godzilla. car classic this 110 hardtop and see there's another one it's rad and there's a third one so people are not seeing the coolness in the rover 110s there's an old night rider an Audi there's the turtle. So that means there's a Jaws. Yeah, we'll have to... yeah, probably hold that one. Tonka. Hmm. Includes Tonka dirt? They have their own dirt? Yeah, their own dirt. It's a cement mixer, so I wonder if you mix it with some water, make yourself a booby trap. Right. AutoZones and O'Reilly's are different, but um, it's cool. They seem to be on the same premium ticket, so scored a Jaws car. Always happy to stumble across these. And uh, that was it, really it. That's some cool character cards. But I went to O'Reilly's, which was like two blocks away, and scored another Jaws car. So I, it was a good win, good pickup. And yeah, I bought them both because this is what the hobby commands now. Get yourself some trade bait, something to sell to offset your, your hobby costs, whatever it may be. But that is the hobby now. It would be nice if we all could stick to just buying one or two or whatever the fair limit would be um, but that's not the hobby and you kind of kind of got to stop fighting it and just kind of fall into place right but some days you can play offense some days you can play defense and that's up to you so you can really make the hobby work for you or work more strategically and I'm wishing every, I'm sending you all those full peg vibes because I know what it's like to have empty pegs too so I have the segment, shit you buy when pegs are empty. So this is the shit you buy when pegs are empty. Um, let's see, what else did I do? Oh, wow. I, I stopped at Dollar Tree, too. 
and I picked up a couple more of these. You know, someone asked me, uh, how, you know, what my preferred method of storage is. And I said, well, obviously you can see that in the back there. And then I have some of the Hot Wheels branded stuff too and some other methods. But my preferred method, I think this is my preferred method. I prefer the clear ones, but these are cool because you can just put your cars in, six cars like it is, close it up, stack them up. You can take the front off. You can hang it on the wall. You get six cars. You can get 12 cars in there, of course, too. You can leave the lid on and have it all hidden while it's hanging on the wall. You can do all this stuff. You can configure it. But also, when it's time to, you know, move, you can, in this case, put the lid back on. Nicely stack all your cars and or into a tub and you're out. It's done. It just makes it that much easier. And, and these are just that much more versatile. And you get like four for five bucks. So that's not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, four for five bucks, that is... What is that? 24 cars you get to store. So that's, that's a really good deal. That's technically better than these were 40 bucks and they hold upwards of 50 cars. So, you know, you do the math, you you can get that many per hat or per anyway. All the little wins you can get are wins. So just count your wins, not your else. What else did I get? And what I wanted to do too, real quick, because I keep, or I made these mistakes, uh, because I got two of these and it's not, I like to collect both versions, but I got two US ones. So what I'm gonna do here for the next wrap was I'm gonna send out a bunch of these uh, treasure hunts that I have extras of, so. You can count on the Baja Bug and the Ram Diesel. You can count on what else I got? I got some some cool ones that I have doubles of too. So could be the uh, Ducati or the Raging Express. It could be ooh, it could be the Lambo. Yeah, it could be, or it could be the Rise and Climb too. The Bone Shaker, Pixel Shaker. I got all those. I got Surf Crates. Man, I'm just trying to build you a box, and I think the raffles are really cool. Because I appreciate you guys getting involved. I get excited for whomever the winner is or is going to be. And it's a great way to help fuel my channel. And I'm not too proud to say I need, I need your help. And I need you guys to tune in. I need you to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. I need all these things. But that's, that's the way to keep this going. And things you may need, like I say, are those raffles. So you can get your hands on cool treasure hunts. Like this Baja Beetle already open. What's cool about this is the clear roof. So that's different than any of the other Baja bugs. You get to see inside the cabin, but also your jugs and your jack and stuff are clear. So that's, that'd be weird in real life, but, but still super cool. What's almost as cool as that is this box that I got from the homie Cho. So let me share with you guys what I got in this REO okay. kit. And I am cheesing because these are some levels up. So first up, green light rally car, a Volkswagen thing. There. Oh my gosh. And yeah, of course the, get to see the motor, all done. And they move, they definitely move. And then the Mark One GTI. Ooh, wee. Look at how clean that is. Green light did such a good job. The scale is different, but it, that's what it is. And this is where I get leveled up. Check this out. Porsche GT2 RS. Look at this thing. Look at the details. That's because it's a mini GT. And she goes. She goes. You need not worry. She goes. 
I'm going to put this one away because I've got a lot of cards to show you. Behind that, got the Rover. This thing is so well done, too. Look at how neat that is. The colors, right? Look at how finished the front is. That's in with the spare tire. Just Rat has a hitch, I mean, undercarriage, too. And she goes. You know the rolling, you gotta roll. Movements, that's pretty important to me. Because I, I, I don't forget to play, this is what I do. This is what I do for fun. This one's sick, too. Sorry, I'm cheesing because I'm stoked. Stoked, like I say, you know, Hot Wheels, um, my feelings, things change, you know? But then you find yourself into this level. And maybe it's gonna speed up those changing feelings for me, but I don't know. And just the Hot Wheels thing, just sometimes it seems a little more Childish than it should should be, and and it is kind of like a entry level. You know, the main lines are entry level, and kind of a gateway drug to stuff like this, stuff like this Bugatti, a Vision, oh, the Grand Touring Vision. Or Grand Turismo. Come on, there we go. Oh my gosh, this thing is so raw, dog. Just the, look at the wheels for one. Okay, the front end. 16, that marks the uh, W16. Look at that. So, oh. Dude, many these guys are on some other levels. And why am I these things are going in, on the shelf? They're not going back in the box, baby. Oh no, no. What are snacks? Oh shit. This was a good pull. It's a good pull. Cho, you you leveled up. And maybe you level up a bunch of subscribers or guys who are willing to watch this video. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. This 4S, Carrera 4S. Oh, and it goes too. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't need to put these back in there because I'm putting these up on my shelf. On my shelf. We're not done. Next up. And this poor car. I feel bad for this because the worst thing that can happen to this thing was his big brother. The Wyra, but the Bagani Zonda F. This isn't the R, this is the F, too. It's just a legendary car. This is what a supercar looks like, or a hypercar. You know, I mean, look at how forward that cockpit is, that exhaust. And Mini GT did a great job. I mean, even the tread on the tires. I mean, can you guys see that? No, you can't. Tread on the tires, that's just not going back in the box. Oh, Chuck, you just got me in my feelings. Oh, yeah. It's, well, and I, it's not, I don't know if it's the best, but this is probably my favorite. And it's, it wouldn't, it's not my favorite brand, but it's a Volkswagen brand. So, it's out there, but I've always respected the game. And it's crazy that this one is my favorite. But it's my favorite because I'm familiar with it. And it's the Bentley Continental GT. Now, what I know about this is it raced at 24 hours of spa. Oh, this thing is bad. Look at how insanely well done this is. I mean, the headlights, even the covers. Oh, this is different because they gave this one flat bottom and though I believe this is correct 
I believe the GT cars, especially 24 hour cars are built with those flat bottoms too, um, or flat skid plates. So. Blanc pain, like, oh, everything. And, and I didn't show you guys, but pardon me, the, the gold riff. Oh man, Cho, you you rocked my world with this one, bro. Not done. My first tarmac works. And what a first. A rough world built. I mean, a rough welt, whatever. I, I speak English better right now, but. Whew. Trust racing livery. This is cool because this was a collabo with. with G ready, give ready. And then lastly, my second tarmac works. And it happens to be another beautiful Porsche. And it happens to be another beautiful, you know, body job by RWB. And it happens to be a collaboration with Wally Denim. just to the moon man and so the gratitude i have for you guys anyone watching it's just it, i wish i could show you somehow like give it give the gratitude so you guys could understand it because i because i understand it and i feel it and and it sees things that just really blow my mind you know and and even more so these aren't dollar main lines. Taku-san. Cho, I... Thank you. Arigato. You are a... very unique human. And we kind of discussed that a little bit on Instagram before I hand, but uh, I'm so thankful, man. You, you really leveled me up. And I'm really, I'm really excited to go down this road and, and see where it leads to. Uh, it's going to lead to more money, I guess. But uh, as long as the die cast is worth it, I'm in. I'm in. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. You know, maybe, maybe this is a good starting place for you guys to explore some other manufacturers. And it doesn't have to be a Tarmac Works or a Mini GT or. You know, I know 64. It doesn't have to mean you know, it could be it could be a venture force. Those guys make some cool they make some cool if you want to do a wheel swap, you'll have a cool casting on your hand. Venture force, all that man, everybody. Obviously, matchbox, you know I'm a fan. But this mini GT stuff is blowing my mind. And I just so happened to open my first one, that Corvette, just a couple episodes ago. So now I get to uh start incorporating this stuff in there. I'm starting to get enough brands to where even I'm starting to group them within the brand of vehicle just kind of put all the matchbox ones together and so uh it's cool man hopefully you guys are having you know as much fun with your hobby as i am with mine and and uh yeah i'm hyped i'm so hyped this hat win congratulations john k we're gonna do the zamac drawing on the next one and this will give you guys time to sign up for the treasure hunt drawing and it's cool dollar 18 like i say uh however many pulls you want max five pulls okay um let's say that yeah but but uh 
Get yourself signed up. Sending you guys the best of luck. Sending you those full peg vibes. I'm thanking you for tuning in and riding along and dealing with me and the animals and the re-record. And you guys got to see Kitty.